Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a makeover of this room, which is our playroom and our homeschool room. So this is what it looked like before we moved in. Half green walls, wallpaper on the bottom, and there was carpet too that we ripped up, and then we had all the floors refinished on the whole bottom floor of the house. And then this is what it looked like after we moved in and after I ripped the wallpaper down. So I don't have footage of taking the wallpaper down. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make a whole video out of redoing this room at that point. So I was just doing it randomly. The kids would be playing in here and I would just be in here pulling pieces off. They even got in on it a little bit too. It was pretty fun to pull the top layer off. It came off really easily. The layer underneath the top layer came off easily too. I just sprayed it with water and once it was wet that peels right off. What I'm doing here was the hard part and the most time consuming of this whole thing. Once the wallpaper is gone and the underneath layer, what's left is this sticky, gluey residue. So to get that off, I used a wallpaper remover spray called Piranha. I bought it on Amazon and I just sprayed that on a section of the wall, rubbed it in kind of with a rubber glove on, and then I scraped it off with a chisel tool. Once I scraped off as much as I could, I scrubbed the wall with a stiff scrub brush. Then I washed it off with water and a washcloth. I had to do all those steps twice or even three times sometimes until I stopped feeling the residue there. It took a lot of time and I did it over several days. Once I was done with that, it was time to get ready to paint. So first I dusted the walls really good up high and in the corners just to make sure I wouldn't be dragging any dust into my paint. Then I did my best to give the walls a quick wash. I just stuck a washcloth onto the end of my swip Swiffer Sweeper, that is so hard to say, and just did my best to wash the walls that way. going to be painting the ceiling too so I dusted that as well but I didn't attempt to wash that I just let it be I ended up not recording when I painted the ceiling Sometimes I just get in the flow of doing something and I don't feel like stopping to get my camera and my tripod and my memory card and all of that. But I am so glad that I did paint the ceiling because the color difference between the old ceiling color and the new one was pretty drastic and it made a huge difference. But anyway, here I was finally getting started painting the walls. I did a primer coat first. I used Zinsser Bullseye Water-Based 123 Primer mainly because of the wallpaper that was there. I just wanted to make sure that my paint had a good surface to go onto. This was such a fun part to finally start seeing the old wall color disappear. Right here was so satisfying too. I was so happy to see that awful flower wreath wall thing go away. When we had first moved in, I thought that was a decal and I tried peeling it off, but there wasn't anything to peel off. So I think it was painted on or something. Okay, so I have the playroom all primed everywhere, edging, walls, everything. Um, and I'm about to get started painting the actual wall color. And last minute, I decided to do a different color in here. I was just gonna do the same color as the living, ro the living room and the hallway. Um, but I was just thinking that this room gets a lot of sunlight, like it's pretty bright. And I knew that the white was just gonna look exactly like the ceiling. 
and I didn't want that. Like I knew it was just gonna look washed out in here. So last minute, I decided to change the paint color and I'm gonna go with Benjamin Moore um, Pale Oak. So I'm gonna open this up and show you what that looks like. So there we go, it looks white again. <laughs> it just looks like another white, but I think it's definitely gonna look darker on the walls. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. Okay, so here is what that color is looking like. I think it is perfect. I really like it and I can't wait to see it like during the day, because right now it's nighttime. I am not gonna record myself doing the edging all over again, because I already did that with the primer and that's just kind of boring. So I will see you guys back again when I'm rolling on the paint for the rest of the walls. Then I finally got started painting the walls the actual color and the paint I used was a two-in-one paint. So technically I shouldn't have needed a primer, but since the old wall color was pretty dark, I'm glad I did one. And I ended up only needing one coat of the wall color. finished painting the walls last night so this is what it looks like this is with the lights off during the day and I love it I think it is a perfect color like I would have been I would have been fine with this in the living room too um, but yeah that is what it looks like in here and now I'm about to paint the trim so I have my little cup of paint I've got my trim paint which I'm just using Sherwin Williams pure white for all the trim I'm gonna do the window sills, and then I have all the baseboards off because I had to take the wallpaper off, so this is not one of the baseboards. This is a new baseboard that I bought that I was gonna use in, in the hallway, but we ended up buying a wider one, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But all of the trim is downstairs in the basement, so I have to sand all that, and I was thinking about trying to do it today, but it's so windy out today that I think the sand or the dust will just be like bl blowing everywhere too much. I don't know, I would be outside, but I don't really want it like blowing in my eyes and stuff. I guess I could wear glasses, I don't know. We'll see, <laughs> I'm gonna do the, I'm just gonna do the window sills right now.
Now it's time for the fun part, putting up curtains and putting the room back together. So I got new curtain rods for these windows from Home Depot. They're just basic ones from Home Decorators Collection, I think. But these took me forever to hang up because I was trying to get them to go into the wall studs to be more secure. But where I wanted them to hang, I couldn't find studs in the same spot on each side of the window. I tried for like an hour to find places to drill and then I just gave up and used the drywall anchors. And these curtains I hung up, I actually ended up not liking, so I ended up switching them out at the end of the video. You set my wheels in motion I'm going crazy for you I feel like the ocean There's a piece of Pop Tart on the play kitchen. It's what you do when it's making me feel like I'm falling. things to hang on the walls here which I'm so proud of. I'm finally hanging up some stuff on the walls. Um, I got this rainbow picture at Home Goods on clearance for $18 because it's a little bit damaged but you can't even tell. Um, so that wasn't too bad of a price I think and it's really cute. It's what you do Also got this little macrame hanging thing. And here's where I switched out the curtains. The other ones I just didn't think looked good at all so I got these white linen ones on Amazon and I think they look so much better. So I am finally done with this room. It took me months of working on it off and on. But yeah, I'm finally done and I'm so happy with how it came out. I think the paint color is so nice. I love it and I love my couple little decorations that I got, like that macrame hanger over there and then my little rainbow picture. I love them. The curtain panels that I switched out, I think these look a hundred times better than the other ones that I had up. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for these if you're looking for curtains too because these are really nice. They're thin. Um, they're not blackout or anything, but they do block enough of the light um, so it's not blinding us in the morning. It's really bright in this room. Here's another angle of the room. We are going to get a door for here. Greg's going to put, we have the door already and Greg just needs to put it up. So we'll have a door in this room, which will be nice for when Madison's like doing school and stuff in here because this is our school, our homeschool room too. Um, the only other thing that needs to be taken care of in this room is this air conditioner that is from I don't even know what year. It's very old and it's really dirty and it's gross and it is such an eyesore. Um, but we're actually having it taken out in just a week or so. We're going to have somebody come and take it out. It's an outside wall so it goes, it's a wall air conditioner obviously, so it goes to the outside. So yeah, we're having someone come take that out, patch it up for us on the inside and the outside and then I'll just paint over it and that will be gone. And then that will, that will really complete this room. But that's it for this room transformation. I think this one is my favorite one yet. Better than the kitchen, I think, because this, what this room was before to now, I feel like it's such a drastic change. Um, and I really like it. So yeah, I hope you guys had fun watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys all for my next one. Bye.